hello welcome to this video on the dax formula union so here's the scenario i want to use to illustrate how union works and then create give a useful example around it here i have a waterfall of net cash flow for company xyz and as you can see from january february march you know till december how the total cash flow has been but then the management wants to see from the starting position so where january is right now they want to see the opening cash flow so that way they can see from the opening cash flow and the different movements to the final you know closing cash flow so right now the table that i have is just higher with the net cash flow right so if i go and meet the finance manager and say okay can you give me the opening cash flow amount the opening cash balance you know for the year 2019 and say he gives it to me right how can i put that figure right here so there are many ways but the way i want to illustrate right now can look simplistic but the focus is on the formula union union so i'm going to say i'll create a table a new table let's say for instance the opening cash balance is two million naira right so it's giving me the figure and i want to use that right in my report and I don't want to go and start editing the source data. You know, I want to use a formula that will incorporate that right into my, my report. So I'm going to call it a table. I'll call the table union. So it makes it easy for you to understand uh, that the focus is on union. So union is a formula that lets you join different tables together as long as their columns are matching so you will see that there the columns must match now i will use this to show you an additional trick right now i don't have a table without opening cash balance right so see i'm going to say i want to join to the cash flow table hmm? i want to join what the finance director has told me what he has told me so here is an interesting thing i can write a table literal right inside that so you are learning two things right now i'm going to my computer as a funny keyboard issue so I, for me to do this i need to change my keyboard okay let me change it back to the right one okay so when you want to put in a table literal like you want to write the static value inside dax this is one thing that you should be able to that's one of the options you have of course uh, you can write in whatsoever you want so in this case uh, I have just one row that I want to put in if I have more than one row right so that would be row one and this would be row two uh, so since I have just one row just comma separate the row, the row data and I'll say I want to for year 2019 hmm, the opening cash hmm, is two million so one two three four five six hmm, and because i want to arrange the the years and the not the years now the months and all of this in a particular order i would say this should be arranged as order zero i'll show you where, what that means for now but the key thing like i said is the focus on union okay so doing this mm -hmm. and i press enter voila so it has put that additional line right into my data you will see opening cash flow and then we can use this right away i go right here i this is not working so i'm going to take this out i'm not going to use this cash flow table anymore I'll use from my union table and then the net cash flow value is also going to come from that union table mm -hmm. and I'm having an issue it is not arranging in the way I want so if you're familiar with Power BI then this is something you should be able to fix easily I'm going to tell Power BI that I want to arrange the month but I want to I want it sorted by the month number so but I'm going to do that for my union table so the union table I've created I want to arrange this month but then I want it arranged by this month number so that way 
it will arrange it in the sequence that I prefer, not this um, A to Z kind of sequence, which will not make sense. So I'm going to come back right here and say, okay, please do sort by the month. And um, let's see if that fixes it. Uh, well, sort it ascending order. And voila, so it is done. Three things I have shown you right now. How you use the very formula union. Uh, if I have another table, I could have joined this to another table. But then now I sneak this in to show you how you can also type in a static data in a table in DAX. So that's two. Then three is I showed you the sort by column. So these are three things you've learned in just one video. But then again, the video is on union. So thank you.